Go. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Goins Gang back in the building one more time. You know, new video today. I kept saying I was going to do this uh, ever since the Chick-fil-A mukbang, but I never got around to it. But I did ask everybody on social media to um, ask me any type of questions that they wanted to know. Um, I don't know all the questions they did ask me, um, but I know I got a lot. Kwame's going to help me out today. He's going to ask the questions. He kind of, that's why he's laughing, I guess. He knows what some of the questions are, I guess. So uh, I'm going to ask, answer them to the best of my ability, I guess. As long as it's nothing too stupid, I guess. Nothing too crazy. Everything. But here we go. Q&A. Asking me questions. Let's go. You going to do it? Before we start this, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell. So you know anytime that we're going to drop another video. You know, because we drop straight bangers. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it going. All right. So first question is. Uh-oh. Let's go. Which one of your kids is the most difficult? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we opening it up like that? Yes. Okay, the most difficult. Um, dang, I don't really know because I wouldn't really say y'all difficult like that. Um, I guess I would probably say Jaquela just because uh, she's a girl. You know, y'all two boys, you and Zan are boys. So it's kind of like I've lived a life of growing up being a boy. So I kind of like know some of the things that y'all probably are going through and stuff like that with her. I don't because, of course, I'm not a girl. Never had to experience girl things and stuff like that. So, um, just being a father, trying to, um, you know, figure her out and help her out with things and stuff like that. That's, I would say that would be most difficult, but not in a way as being bad. Mm -hmm. Just as, as far as, like, different life lifestyle. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, next one. Let's see. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Yeah. Oh, man, I got a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> I would probably say, all right, this is probably my biggest pet peeve. Like when I tell somebody something and then like, they try to say the opposite. Like they trying to tell me what I'm thinking or what I think. Like say, for instance, like I can say, like say for instance, I say like, um, I like your shirt or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you hear me say it and everything, but then somewhere down the line, you'll say, man, that's uh man, he didn't really like that shirt I had on or whatever like that. And I'm like, why would I lie about something like that? You know what I'm saying? Like that just just kills me. Like uh, I mean, I could have used a better explanation for that, but like that just kills me. Like how I can tell people one thing and then like they'll always think the opposite of from what I actually say. Like why would I lie? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like why? You ask me, I give you the I give you the answer. Like it's just crazy to me. But that that's probably the biggest pet peeve. Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I, your face. Uh oh. <sighs> nah, nah, nah. All right, all right. Do you feel like a leader or a follower? I definitely feel like a leader. I mean, I feel like I'm a leader. I mean, you gotta think about like um. I lead a praise dance group. Um, I've been like a basketball coach before. I've been like a, like a head of a group when it came to like school working groups and stuff like that. I, I always figured I, like I always take myself as a leader. And this is like I always tell you guys all the time, you know, you need to be a leader and not a follower. So that would be crazy of me to say that to y'all and then I'm, I'm not doing the it's same thing. Yeah, being, hip, being a hypocrite and everything like that. But I would definitely say uh, be a leader. I mean, that builds your character, strong character, confidence, all different type of things like that. So, yeah, leader. <laughs> What's so funny? Because <laughs> I just seen this question. Oh, okay. All right, next question is, 
If you could do anything without getting caught, what would it be? <laughs> um, easily, probably rob a bank. Everybody listen up! Take a deep breath and relax. We're here to rob the bank, not you. <laughs> I'm probably gonna rob a bank. Or well, what's what's that uh that truck the what's it Loomis truck? Loomis yeah. Brinks. <laughs> yeah, Brinks truck. I, I hey. probably yeah, I definitely probably would rob a bank. Hey. <laughs> Without getting caught, no qual no consequences. <laughs> um let's see, let's see. Ask it, man. I'm trying. I'm going through these questions that I already <laughs> answered the most of. So I'm trying. Uh, but they don't know. Okay, okay. Pick order. Who comes first in the man's life? Daughter. Yeah, bet. Yeah, baby, mama. Your wife. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because it's no comma right here. So I thought it was. I thought it was. All right. Who comes first in the man's life? Uh, your daughter, your mom, <laughs> your wife. Your, what? Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. This guy. Wait. What the no, word? hold on. Stop. 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 <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> next. <laughs> we next, didn't understand that last question, y'all. So we had to yeah, move on from. It. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> next question is. Makeup or no makeup on a girl? Oh, that's easy too. Um, I would say no makeup. Like I'm a I'm a big fan of a, a woman with natural beauty. Natural. Like that definitely does not uh, matter to me in a woman. I mean, like if a woman does wear some makeup, it is fine. Don't get me wrong, it is fine. But you don't have to be all overboard with it, drawing a whole new face. <laughs> <laughs> And everything like that. You ain't got to do all that for me. You ain't got to do all that for me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Drawing no. a whole new face. I, I, I'm all natural beauty over here, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what is the first thing you notice in a girl? Uh, this had to be a girl who asked that question. Um, simple. Pretty much everybody know this. Uh, I always notice their hair first. It's always me. I always notice the hair. I'm just a big fan of women with long hair. I don't know why. It's just something. <laughs> it's just something that's always been a part of me, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's the first thing you notice? I would say either hair or... Uh... I say... You know, like, a feature or, like, well, the first thing I <coughs> notice is, like, how you act. Okay. But. But I'm like, just saying, if you're walking in a store and you just see this woman. Oh, I'm looking at your face. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, man, ain't nothing wrong with that either. But, yeah, the hair, it's hair for me, so. Hey, if you're a woman out there with long hair, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with the short hair either. So short hair women, y'all can holler at me too. You Some know short hair women look ain't, good. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. <laughs> but oh, um, <coughs> hmm. Let's see. What's something about you that someone would be shocked about? Um, two things. I actually got two things, really. Uh. Because a lot of people think I'm like a shy type of person and stuff like that. Uh, or I come off shy in front of them. Um, mm -hmm. They would be shocked by, because um, a lot of people don't know or wouldn't know by looking at me that I used to be a rapper. Well, I still kind of do my thing, but like I was, that was like a big uh, thing I wanted to pursue when I was younger, to be a rapper. And then also that I'm a leader of a praise dance team, so... Like, when people look at me, they probably just don't, hey, praise dance leader, what? Like, how did you get into that? Or a rapper, what? You don't look like you spitting no bars. I rip and I rhyme. I rhyme and I rip. This is the way that Dylan spits. <laughs> you, you trying to get some of this hot fire? You know what I'm saying? Anything like that, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
<coughs> uh, dang. Favorite TV shows. Oh man, favorite TV shows. Well, off the grip, I got to go with Martin. That's my show, man. I could watch that all day. Martin. What's up? <laughs> Gonna make me a sandwich. Mm, Martin. Um, man. If, if, if you gotta go into like the cartoon animes and stuff like that, of course, Dragon Ball Z, that's my junk. I, I don't care how old I'll be, I'll probably be watching that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably watch that till I'm about 115. <laughs> oh, uh, sitting at the front of the TV like this, get up, go cool. <laughs> <laughs> Done see what happened. Get him Goku. About 50 times. Um, so I know what's gonna happen. Everything. I'm gonna turn my grandkids on to Dragon Ball. I turn everybody on to Dragon Ball Z, man, all the time. Oh my God. So yeah, Martin and Dragon Ball Z off off the gates. Number yeah, off the gates. <laughs> At 115. Um, have you ever met somebody famous? Um, I ain't have I. Um, well, yeah, I've met, um, Sergeant Slaughter before, the, the old wrestler, Sergeant Slaughter. I met him one time when I used to work at Kmart, uh, I used to work at Kmart, that was like my first job, and what, it was like a Sunday, uh, I was working in the electronics department, and like, I was, uh, Walking to the register, ringing somebody up, and I seen him walking through the door, and I'm just looking. Look I was like, "Man, that man look familiar." And like, the more he came and he came over to electronics, uh, I, I realized who he was and stuff like that. So of course I talked, took a picture and stuff like that. I don't even know where the picture is now. You know what I'm saying? Oh so, man! <laughs> excuse me, but yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. I met somebody famous. Who you meet? Brandon Tate. Oh yeah. Yeah, but anyway, the next question is favorite drink. Uh, my favorite drink. Oh man, that's kind of hard. <laughs> that's kind of hard, cause for like favorite drink for me is like a uh, like a tie between Pepsi and sweet tea, but. As you recall, in my Who Knows Me Better video, <laughs> I said at that time, it was Dr. Pepper. So, like, but all-time favorite, it would be a tie between, like, sweet tea and Pepsi. I'd probably be leaning more to sweet tea, though. Because Pepsi, well, I don't, I haven't been drinking Pepsi lately. Because I haven't been drinking any soda, because y'all know my weight loss challenge, but, or tea. But, when I had drank tea, uh, Pepsis and stuff beforehand, like, they was kind of... It was flat to me. They didn't get that little oomph to them. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not giving that oomph. Mm. What? Right. Uh, next question is, how long have you had your dreads? Oh, man, a very long time. That's a good question, y'all. Very good question out there. Um, Let's see. Kayla's, what, 13 now? So I would, I've had them for about 12 years. I had them before, or uh, well, after Kayla, or whatever. I mean, dang, let me take that back. She's 13, so I've had them about 14 years, because I started them before uh, Kayla, so there we go. Okay. I said that backwards. But, like, before that, though, um, see, I've had hair, I, man, I've, I promise you, I haven't had a haircut since, like, 1999. Because <laughs> when, when I went into high school, I already had, like, my hair growing out. So, my whole uh, high school, like, career, you can say, I had, like, braids and stuff like that. So, it wasn't until after um, I went to college and stuff like that. I had my first job, cable and stuff like that. That's when I actually um, grew my hair out for, as far as, like, dreads. So, yes, yeah, it's been a very long time. Y'all probably wouldn't know what to think of me if I cut my hair, would you? <laughs> See how you laughing at me, all? Uh -huh. No, it's just because I had to get used to it. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, I still look good, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let me find, let me find, let me find. How is it like being a single father with kids? Oh, man. Good question, y'all. Yeah, y'all coming up with some good questions out there. Um, For the most part, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not saying, when I say it's, it's been easy, I don't mean easy as like, it's just been no problems at all. I mean, I, I would say y'all make it easier for me because it's like, I don't have children that are like crazy wild and crazy acting and stuff like that. So like, y'all make it, help make it easier for me. And then like with having y'all older and stuff like that, y'all help out and stuff like that with you and Kayla and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as, as far as just being a single parent and having to do everything, on my own it, it can be tough at times and things like that but like i said y'all really helped me out a lot with that because y'all aren't like bad crazy kids where i have to stay on y'all all the time worry about what y'all doing all the time just all stuff like that so i mean to answer the question it is hard but not hard as it can be so i thank god for that <laughs> that's pretty much all how i can say it you know but I get this question a lot from people all the time, even like not on video, even in real life. So I've been thinking about doing like a, a video where I kind of like tell my story a little bit and like just tell as far as life as being a single father, because it seems like a lot of people are interested in that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video with that. It's just I'm trying to kind of get together everything that I want to say and not say as far as in detail and stuff like that, because um my wife actually passed away and like anytime i kind of speak on that type of stuff i try i don't really like speaking on it too much because i don't want to give nobody I like i don't want to get that sympathy factor factor you know what i'm saying like of course if i say it i mean we'll be a little bit of sympathy sympathy in there but i don't want nobody like feeling sorry for me and stuff like that like i said like we're living good i mean it's fine of course it was a sad situation but you know we moved on from it she'll be someone we'll never forget you know, so I mean, but yeah, that's for the most part the reason why I don't really talk about that. But like I said, it seems like a lot of people are kind of interested in like how my life is being a single father. I mean, because there's a lot of people that single mothers and stuff, and pretty much people know how that story goes. But I guess they don't know how a single father story goes. So be on the lookout for that. That was a long answer, wasn't it? <laughs> in the middle of you answering, I. Uh realized I still have my seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> anyway. Ah. Hmm. I really don't think it's any more you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. Not at this moment. I've had pets before though. We've had pets. We've had uh plenty of dogs before. Um, we've had fish. I think Kwame had fish before. Well, we've, I, I don't, I know we had fish in the house. I can't necessarily say they was Kwame's stuff. <laughs> we've I had, I had a goldfish. Yeah, we had fish before. Um, let's see, fish, dogs. I think that's pretty much it. But one I do want to get that I've always wanted since I was young and I still haven't got, I've always wanted a pet parrot. So one day I might have one. I'm not even going to lie. You know, so like, I, I mean, it's me by myself with y'all, so, I mean, it's not like I got somebody that can tell me, no, nah, they don't want it, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can say y'all don't want it, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the parent, so if I want it, I can get it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that thing will be flying around the house. Leave the door open. Um, I think this is the last question. Okay. Do you think you will ever date anyone again? I think I ever date anyone again. <laughs> um, I mean, I would say yeah. I mean, I think I will. I mean, I I wouldn't. I can't sit here and say that I can see myself being alone for the rest of my life. I mean, y'all not gonna stay with me forever. <laughs> y'all gonna go on and have y'all own lives and stuff like that, you know. I mean, but yeah, I can see myself. You say if I can see myself dating again, right? Yeah. So I can see myself dating again. I mean, to be honest with you, um, 
I have like went out with like a few people, but it hasn't been like where we tried to make that next step to like make it further and stuff like that. It doesn't, it never gets past that stage because like, uh, I'm just going to put it this way. Things don't go well with the people and stuff. I do still consider them good friends and people and stuff like that. But we're just, uh, our words was just too different. So, but as far as dating again, I definitely can see myself dating again and things like that. I definitely can see myself dating again. So, yeah. Okay. That was the last question. Hey, all right then. <laughs> so, hey, well, that wasn't too bad, you know. Um, maybe sometime down the line, I can give y'all a part two, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm pretty sure as, as y'all follow us, Goins Gang family channel, you know what I'm saying? That y'all going to have more questions for us. Want to know more things about us. Wanted to get us to know, want to get to know us even more. I can't talk. It's, it's always in the video, somewhere in the video. Mm -hmm. I mess up. Yeah. It's always and stuff, but yeah. So, um, we're almost at a hundred subscribers, you know what I'm saying? subscribe get us to 100 subscribers you know what i'm saying i got a special video for that when we hit 100 subscribers um coming up i got a um would you rather challenge video with kwame and kayla on our channel you know what i'm saying um anything you got coming on your channel meek tv <laughs> uh uh i got a couple things coming that's all i'm missing <laughs> Okay, I, I got a couple things coming. Ain't no telling when they coming, but they coming, you feel me? They coming. Just be patient. Okay, I feel you. So, hey, anyway, thanks for the question, guys. If you um like this video you watch, make sure you like it down below. Comment down below what you thought. Any other questions y'all want to ask us? And like we said before, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share and tell everybody about this channel make them subscribe hit that post notification bell and make sure you get that bell a ring ding ding and we don't i just stay doing this i would the old just a new me i'm just straight living my life we living like we in the movies she want that bubble bath i say really girl you don't amuse me they really just want to pursue me really just want to just use me